on the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again Hello and welcome sports fans to Fort Myers, Florida home of the Florida Gulf Coast University Eagles from the far corner Trying to play it through, no, nothing new, and Jake Coyle will get a chance at it. Shot saved by Ansel. Rebound, he shoots, he scores. Justin Aquino picks up the rebound right in front of Ian Ansel. Probably the second one there, and it hops it up over the shoulder from point blank range. Rousseau, round behind the net, now to the near side for Knight. To the far side, Karen will carry the puck. To the near side, Mandia. Mandia looks for an opening, back behind the net. A little swing around to the far side, drops it back to Martz. It's taken away. Knight couldn't keep it in, and he leaves a two on O. Driving up ice is Coyle. Coyle looks, shot, save made by Ansel. Round back to the near side. What a chance taken away by the Lakers. Ian Ansel stood tall on that one. He sends it over far side now for Steve Gudowitz, who clears it length of the ice, and that will kill the power play for the Lakers. Ian Ansel somehow broke a stick. I, I, I'm not sure how he did that. What Ansel doesn't realize is he can't actually play with a uh, broken stick until the next whistle. That well, was the 1996 Stanley Cup Finals, I believe game four, where uh, John Van Beesbrook broke his stick and uh, held on to it. And it was called that it was a legal play. It is in the rule book that a goalie can play with a broken stick until uh, the next whistle. After that, he must get a uh, fresh, unbroken twig. Stolen away, and Goats will play it around to the far boards where Sears tries to get in the way. And it's tied up on that far side, but taken away by the Eagles, who will force it up ice to Johnson. Johnson, one-on-one -on -one with Whiteford back, dipsy doodling, gets through, quick shot, he scores! Whiteford was really working the stick, trying to force that puck away, but he could not connect. And somehow, I'm not sure Ansel even knows, that puck flipped over his pad into the back of the net. It's now two to nothing in favor of the Gulf Coast University Eagle. Now Lakers have four guys rushing on the far side. Mayhew lost the biscuit, Losher keeps it in. Top of the circle, quick shot, it hit a stick early and it'll stay there and Losher now trying to fight back to get to that puck. Two on one the other way. Lindino looks for the pass, quick shot. And it's good, shoot and score, Jake Coyle will get the uh, feed from Landino. He puts it top shelf, hitting the water bottle. Another two on one with Coyle and Landino. And there's a reason those two are one and two in scoring for the Florida Gulf Coast University Eagles. A short-handed goal led up by the Mercyhurst Lakers will make it 3-0. as it's played back for Whiteford. Whiteford will clear it back into the zone. No, it'll hit Rosser first. He swings through the center ice logo and over to the far boards. Has it in the corner. Works it back behind the net. Who's gonna get there? It looks like it'll be Sears who'll take it. Puts it right in front for Rosser. She shoots, he scores! Rosser managed to pick that in right in the back of the net. A power play goal for the Lakers, I do believe. I didn't think it was in. He must have found a real tiny hole probably right below the glove. Mayhew from Galbraith, plays it through center, gets to the far side. Can he work his magic? He's in behind the defense, fans once, quick shot in front. Galbraith trying to work it through again, he has Martz as well. Up top for Trombley, puts the shot on. No, it hits a player, back the other way for, who is that, the Maggio? Quick shot, saved by Ansel, back behind the net. Rousseau will launch Ansel into his own net. And we're gonna have a whistle with the net well off its moorings. On the road again. Places that I've never been. Behind Trombley. Trombley lost it now to the near side, but Mayhew will pick it up and play it ahead to Martz. Martz will force it back to Maggio, will take it and play it around behind there. Oh, a big hit right in front of the bench and the official. Who's going to get the call? Martz is getting tossed? Leitzel will serve the penalty. As I've mentioned previously, uh, the referee just has the discretion to make any two-minute minor into a five-minute major based on the severity. They played right in front, and they shoot and score already. Ansel didn't know it was coming. A one-timer from the slot will make it four to one, and that's only five seconds off of that power play, and it'll continue. Complete defensive breakdown by the Lakers, and they are all very slow coming back 
to the faceoff dot. From behind the net, it's played by Kovesdi around to the near side boards. Battling along the near side is cleared to the far boards. And we have a tussle right along the near side, and I can't see anything. A crowd uh, completely obscuring my view, but we had two men just going at it. I saw a Laker who had been down and uh, a man tackled. I think Galbraith was one of them. The other is number 22, Nathan Altman. Far side quick shot saved by Anthony Hangs on. Maloney will carry now. On the outside, forces it right through. Quick shot, he shoots, he scores! Maloney will put it in the back of the net, and I knew the kid would come up big when it matters. A 4-2 is your score now as Maloney flipped one over the pad of Ryan Lynch. Well, he manages to get that score, and now the Lakers are within two. It won't be a power play goal, but it came close, and it almost went in the net there. As it cleared to the far side, Maloney chasing after it. Sears will get there. It's sicked away and taken away from Kovesny. Near side for Landino. Quick shot. Oh my goodness, what a rocket. Landino knows how to put this one back. A rocket. Snipe show near corner, far corner to near corner. Those they are ringing, and it's for the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles. And that quickly, five to two. Ahead, Lightsel will take it, gets it over the blue line. Puts it behind the net where it's going to be played by Ryan Lynch. It's in Lynch's skates. Can Mayhew capitalize? He cannot. That lively, lively boards. We're going to have a delayed penalty called on whom? The call is a cross check. As we have a bit of a tussle, Mayhew and Landino are just a tackle back behind the net. And the Mayhew will not let him go. He's still driving after it. Everyone takes the man. It looks like it was that Galbraith will take off his gloves and Dale with a helmet off is Jordan John. The other linesman will come in. Galbraith is tied up with him. No real punches thrown, but I'm sure both will hurt. Now Galbraith clocks him once, but can't seem to get another one away. The linesmen are trying to pull them apart, and it looks like they finally will. Across ice for Stanton, through to Knight. Knight gets knocked down by the defense. Probably should have been an interference, but it goes behind the net. We're on the far side. Oh, big hit on Mandia. But again, Mandia's like a Rolex. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. Back along the near side. Oh, big hitter Schwab will go down now, but he will get back to that pocket play to the far side. And this crowd is loving it. Leave it off for Schwab. Schwab gets hit again. Picked up by Schwab, who gets knocked down a third time. We're going to have a delayed penalty call on that one. Quick shot, lofted up and out of play off of a stick. Side. Schwab takes another hit. Ahead for Maloney. Maloney through to Stanton and ahead for Mandia. Mandia along the near side. Center for Maloney. He shoots and scores. He puts a snipe show right where Landino did. Glass goal. Maloney answers back with his second goal of the night. A snipe show effort. We'll make it 5-3, a power play goal. Quill with it still. Quick shot, just wide, near boards. It'll go, Sears chasing after it. Keeping it in will be Aquino. Hits off of Brewski, played right in front. And Landino puts in another one. A bouncing puck went right to Landino and he slapped it between Ansel's pads to make it 6-3. And it seems though the Lakers are just gonna be unable to climb back into this one. Cleared up and out, long toss on. Finds Landino behind the defense. Looks for the shot, saved by Ansel. He dove for it, gets a second chance out of this. Back the other way, now to the near side. Stanton. Quick shot, that's by the far side. Are they saying go home Yankees? 